Have you ever walked down the street and heard a tune in your head that just seemed to fit the moment like in a movie? Well, meet the prolific Academy Award winning composer who's hard at work on a way to design your own personal soundtrack. Here's ABC's David Wright. The term recording studio doesn't do justice to the Santa Monica space where Hans Zimmer works. There's a real phantom of the opera feel to this space. I yeah, but that's say. all about tragedy. You know? <laughs> this is a bat cave, a high-tech gothic lair. Working here in this studio, Zimmer has composed music for more than a hundred Hollywood movies, including The Lion King, which won an Academy Award for Best Original Score. Zimmer wrote the music for Rain Man, also nominated for an Oscar. He even did Driving Miss Daisy. You're one of the very few Hollywood composers who I think has reached the stature of a Henry Mancini or a John Williams. You had to go and mention two of the most <laughs> um, extraordinary artists. But your IMDb page is probably I just know. about as long. Well, okay, okay, okay. So, so we're talking about, um, you know, amount as opposed to quality. <laughs> but, um, Gladiator, pretty good okay, movie. Okay, all right, all right, right. Zimmer got his start in the German pop band The Buggles. Remember them? pretty much created the music video for Zimmer, an excuse to make movies. The aim was always, how do we get to go and make movies? And so we managed to make a three minute video and yeah, we ruined a whole generation by being the first video on MTV. Batman holds a special place in his heart. Batman was my hero. I had a Batman costume as a kid, which lasted exactly one day at school and then everybody else was beating me up. <laughs> he did the music for all three films in director Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy. You start somewhere. You know, and there's a, there's a, like a question in that. The score for the second Batman movie won a Grammy Award. With The Dark Knight Rises, those Wagnerian themes have evolved. As soon as he changed one note underneath, Right? Oh, suddenly we got hope in there. It's still the same two notes. But he's wounded but now. He's wounded. The, the game is, how do you describe the many facets of one character with, with just two notes? And it's a game. I'm playing some sort of musical chess here. Zimmer also experiments with new technology. For instance, Zimmer has been experimenting with an unusual iPhone app. And it really was just for the fans. It was just something we could do, whereby we could merge the real world with the music. It, it sort of became this experience of you were scoring your dreams. The app takes cues from your environment, your speed, direction, time of day, even the sound coming over the microphone, and mixes it with the soundscape of Gotham City. So I can kind of put myself in the Batmobile and really enjoy the drive home. Now you don't even need to be in the theater to have that dark night experience. I'm David Wright for Nightline, in my own version of Gotham City.